known science would have us believe that it is something to do with water vapor freezing up in the clouds. Obviously, this is a load of pseudo-scientific claptrap. I am here today to tell you the real truth behind the origin of snow. There are many ways in which snow is created. The most common of these involves our old friend, the sea gull. As we know, most seagulls spend all of their time out at sea, never coming near land. In fact, many seagulls have no legs because of this. When a seagull gets hungry, it must eat fish. In order to catch its fish, the seagull dives down into the sea and scoops up the fish in its beak. When it has finished dining, the seagull flies very, very high into the air. As we all know, the higher one goes, the colder one gets. And when the seagull gets very, very high, the residual sea water in its wings will freeze and fall off. While seagulls spend most of the year on their own, during the winter, they will flock together to share their body heat. Now, when a whole flock of seagulls fly overhead, having just dined, this can create rather a lot of falling, frozen sea water, thus forming the snow with which we are so familiar. Join us next time when we will discuss how the invention of the steam engine revolutionized the manufacture of cows.